Hi, this is Breck Plumbo with DistressPro.com and this quarter we're trying a little different approach to our commercial REO and NPL report. Um, so uh, we're excited to do it and we hope to be bringing you more videos in the future. Before I get started, I want to tell you that we're going to, if you stick around to the end, I've got two links that I'm going to give you for uh, where you can go to get free downloadable lists of the top commercial REO, the banks with the top commercial REO portfolios and the U.S. banks with the top commercial non-performing loan portfolios. Those are the banks with the biggest portfolios uh, of each of those. Uh, let's get right into it. Banks reporting commercial REO. Uh, this quarter, there's 3,700. 169 banks that are reporting some level of uh, commercial REO on their books. That's a change of 1.1 percent uh, from Q1 in 2012 to Q2, the quarter that we're currently reporting on. Um, and so let's get into dollar volume. Total commercial REO dollar volume is 10 billion 90 million 207 thousand and this is a net change of 4.3 percent from Q1 that's Q2 2012 to Q1 is a change of 4.3 percent less uh, commercial REO now part of that is going to be from write downs or charge offs uh, part of that's going to be from uh, actually having sold some REO and as you can see we're not working through uh, a tremendous amount of it at once just to illustrate that a little further, there's uh, this is our Q1 2012 to Q2 is down by 4.3%. The percentage of REO that banks are holding on their books today that is commercial is 28%. Still the leading REO uh, balances on our bank's books are construction REO and that's 40% of the REO out there today is construction REO. There's a lot of uh, opportunities there. I'm not going to talk about it in this particular video because we're talking about commercial REO, which makes up 28%. The number of U.S. banks reporting defaulted CRE loans. First, I want to just give you some idea in case you're not already familiar with it of what the buckets look like uh, for late and non-performing loans at banks. They're, they're filed as 30 to 89 days late, 90 plus days late and still accruing or non-accrual. And non-accrual means that there's really no hope of uh, the loan uh, returning to uh, uh, performing, that it's going to, there's no hope that they're going to be repaid according to terms is, uh, is exactly what the definition is. And so uh, for commercial real estate, there are owner-occupied uh, loans and we can see that there's uh, 2,807 banks reporting loans that are 30 to 89 days late. There's 622 banks reporting uh, 90 plus day late loans and 3,400 banks that are reporting non-accrual loans, which is to say non-performing, owner-occupied or uh, loans made on commercial real estate, which is uh, occupied by the borrower. Okay, uh, That net change from last quarter is down 5%. 1% and 3.2% respectively in the various buckets. The second time a type of commercial real estate loans are non-owner occupied commercial real estate loans or loans made against commercial investment property typically. Uh, and we can see 2,130, 493, and 3,095 banks reporting uh, positive balances in each of these categories and a reduction from left to right of 8%, 9.9, and 2%. The reason why I think this is important and why I want to bring this up is if we look from the left to the right, you can see that 5, 1, 3, 8, 9, 2, on the left side is where the biggest reductions are coming from. And so that means that loans that are newly in default, the 30 to 89 day lights, that's where we're seeing the biggest change. Maybe this points to uh, some light at the end of the tunnel um, or you know a way through. We're seeing some easing. There's a variety of reasons this could look like this, but um, it could be a decent indicator. Let's talk about the late non-performing loans at U.S. banks in dollar in terms of dollar volume. Uh, for owner occupied, you can see looking left to right, there's a total of 18 billion 477 million and change in uh, loans that are in default that are 
backed by owner-occupied commercial real estate. There's $23 billion, $940 million in change in uh, the non-owner-occupied or investment type loans. Um, in terms of the totals, we've got roughly, not roughly, we've got $42 billion, $418 million and uh, $550,000 being reported in the all of the 30 to 89 through non-accrual in both owner-occupied and non-owner-occupied. So there's still a huge opportunity out there. What I want to point out uh, right here is that these are not, this is not CMBS, these are not uh, securities, these are whole loans that are held and reported on uh, at, at the banks. This is a net change of 10.6% from the prior quarter and as I showed you in the previous slide a lot of that came from the left side and uh, so that could be an indicator that we're uh, going to see some easing. I want to give you just another look at what this pipeline really looks like if we're talking uh, about how it moves through the banks from 30 to 89 days late through a foreclosure and being bank owned or REO. Um, as you can see on the third from the left, the tower there is the non-accrual. And that compared to the REO, if we consider that not all of the REO that is in that green stack is actually actively being marketed, then we could surmise from this that if non-accrual, if there's no hope of that being repaid according to terms and something will have to be done with it, it will either have to be sold or it will have to be foreclosed upon, booked in, and then sold as REO, then uh, what we could put together from this is that there's a lot more REO coming. And so, uh, you know, roughly 400% more, something uh, along that, well, actually 300% more currently in uh, non-accrual, but we, we could uh, see even more than that as we look to the left. And so that, I think, is important. Visit DistressPro.com to see how real estate professionals use Bank Prospector to quickly find, qualify, and connect with banks and bank contacts to find note and REO deals. This whole report was brought to you by DistressPro.com and it was gathered from the data inside of Bank Prospector, our software. Now those URLs I promised you, commercial non-performing notes report at DistressPro.com slash U slash C-R-E-N-P-N as in commercial real estate non-performing notes and the commercial REO report is at distressedpro.com slash u slash c-r-e-r-e-o. Thanks so much and have a great day.